Hey, hey, welcome to Galatia, my friends. Voila. All right. Hey, it's Tuesday. We are going to be jumping through most of chapter four of Galatians right now. Uh, so go ahead and start getting out those Bibles that you guys got there at home. Open up to page 1260. 1260. All right, here we go. Today we're talking about the sons and heirs. Uh, now, a quick breakdown, like an heir is someone, you would be your parents' heirs. So, someday, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 years from now, when your parents pass away, then you will be the heirs of your parents. Uh, so, basically, like, their, their belongings are passed down to you. Um, so, you know, like the prince is the heir to the throne, right? You guys get that a little bit? Um, all right, let's jump in here. Chapter 4, verse 1, Galatians 12, 60, or <clears throat> page 12, 60 in your guys' Bibles. I mean, that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no different from a slave, though he is the owner of everything. But until he is under guardians and managers until the day set by his father. In the same way, we also, when we were children, were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, or sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. So we are heirs. We are sons and daughters of God. Um, and you know what our, our inheritance is? Uh, the inheritance is what you receive when your parents or grandparents pass away. Those things are your inheritance. You take them in. They become yours. Now, our inheritance, because we have a loving relationship with Jesus Christ as our Savior, our inheritance, guys, is that we get to go to heaven. Like, we get to spend eternity with Christ and with God in heaven. That is our inheritance as sons and daughters of God. It's pretty legit, right? That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's jump on talking about Paul's concern for the Galatians. Now, he's concerned for them, like he's worried about them, like what they're doing, what they're listening to, like are they being led astray, what is it, like he's concerned for them. So let's check it out. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to those by nature that are not, or by nature are not gods. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn your back to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world whose slaves you want to be once more? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I'm afraid I may have labored over you in vain. So he's saying, man, you guys are going right back to your old ways. Like, I spent so much time working with you and I finally got you guys on the right path and then boom! I step away for a little bit and you're going back to your old ways again. Come on, you know, he's like, man, you guys are kind of driving me crazy a little bit. You know, like he's, he's frustrated. Like, I feel like I've labored in vain. Like, I feel like I've spent all my time pushing and pushing and pushing and I got you guys there. And then all of a sudden you're sliding back down the hill backwards. You know, like you're just, there you go. Like, man, did I, did I spend all that time? laboring in vain you know it's like are they watching these videos <laughs> because man if you're not watching the videos and not getting into it then like it feel like i'm laboring in vain i'm feeling like paul right now all right so i think you're watching them i think you're into them i hope you better be i'm watching you actually you're watching me i'm not watching you it doesn't work that way all right hey let's finish this up we got one more paragraph chapter four Verse 12, 1, 2. Brothers, I entreat you, become as I am, for I also have become as you are. You did me no wrong. You know it was because of bodily ailment that I preached the gospel to you at first, and through my condition was 
though my condition was a trial to you, you did not scorn or despise me, but received me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus. He's like, man, you guys can't, like, I showed up, and I was like, ill and you know like I had to be taken care of and man you guys came right alongside me you snatched me up and you took care of me like even though I was a burden to you like man you guys treated me so well so it's like you treated me like I was an angel of God like I was Jesus Christ myself you guys were amazing check out verse 15 what then has become of your blessedness for I testify to you that if possible, you would have gouged out your eyes and given them to me. He's like, you guys were so amazing. You would have given me your own eyes. Like, that's saying something because, you know, like, my eyes are my eyes. I don't know if I'm giving my eyes to any of y'all. Let's be real. All right, verse 16. Have I then become your enemy by telling you the truth? They make much of you, but for no good purpose. They want to shut you out that you may make much of them. It is always good to be made much of for a good purpose, but not only when I am present with you, my little children, for whom I am again in the anguish of childbirth until Christ is formed in you. I wish I could be present with you now and change my tone, for I am perplexed by you. Oh, man. So, like, he is just broken down right now he's like man i feel like i'm going through all that pain of childbirth again with you guys like i had the pain at first and then you found jesus and it was awesome and then now you're falling away from jesus and i'm going through that pain again trying to get you there oh man it's intense all right let's see <laughs> all right we're gonna go ahead and finish that one up right there um hey check you guys out tomorrow tomorrow we are jumping in we're going to take over chapters five and six and then this thursday and friday we're going to be picking up with our galatians booklet now most of you will have gotten those when you dropped off work at school and picked up the new stuff on wednesday uh, but for those of you that are at home you can just take some lined piece of paper, fold it in half, and I'll, I'll talk you through how to do the same thing. All right. Awesome. Hope everybody's doing well. See you in a little while for some math.